Welcome to another episode with the Autistic Angler. Today, I was lucky enough, one of my subscribers offered me some lead. So I came down to Salsea and picked it up. So thank you very much, Christine and Michael. So we're back at uh, Grafton Road. It's currently midday. High tide's at three o'clock. I suspect it might be unfishable until high tide because there's a, a pretty high tide today because it's just it's just gone past the spring tides. But if you know me can't help myself so I'm gonna go out and have a cast and see what happens so I'm down here with Mike and Mrs B and it's funny enough that they just said if the uh, tides do pull uh, tides too strong the tide pulls too strong at least I've got some boat weights that I can put in now because those weights that I was just given are lovely heavy boat weights so I'm going to take the six and bait out. Hello. Yeah, it's got some battle scars on it. I'll take the six and bait out, so hopefully it can cope with the weed and chuck it out a bigger weight. I think I'm going to start with a seven ounce to start with, just because I've expected the pool to be so strong. And I bought some, I've got two seven ounce grippers. And this one, look. It's a bit of a three hook one. I put one, tied one lower down so that it goes on the on the deck. So this is going to be a good seaweed catcher, this one, I think. So I'm on the beach. The wind's a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. The size of this blooming worm, and I expect they're all going to get sacrificed right away. Break that into three. Yeah, quite a swell. I have a feeling. First cast is going to be a bit of a nightmare. We'll see. Got a bit of This rig isn't a clipped rig, so I'll tip it with the plastics. Hopefully that will stop it coming off. Well that mod stayed out fishing an awful lot longer than one of the mods did when we came out once. That was when I was fishing across the other side of that groin. But it's funny, I was just talking to a local lad. Uh, sorry, but I didn't get your name either. Nice to have a chat with you, by the way. 
And he said he hasn't fished on this part. He's always fished round on the point at low tide and high tide. So that's good knowledge. It's always good to talk to the locals. And it's not done anything. It hasn't moved at all. Right, I'm going to uh, bring it in and have a look then. Because I do like bringing the first cast in, always, just to see how it's been fishing. So we'll have a look. So, top up. Worm's still there, plastic worm's still there. Just bring that one round the hook a bit. Middle hook. Worm and plastic worm. Bottom hook. Worm and plastic worm. And look at that. Not even worth talking about. Right. So, that one's a little bit tangled, but that's because I've got slightly longer snoods than I normally have. So, right, I'm going to chuck it back out and we'll leave it out there now. That's a good start. So, I'm going to aim for that coin again. Over there. You know what, this one copes with that seven ounce brilliantly. So, let it, I keep forgetting, let the tide just put the grippers in. And it's gripping again, brilliant. You know what though, I think I'll just stick with the one mod for the moment because if Mike's going to come down and put a rod out, not confident that we can get three or four lines going, not yet. So I'll stick with that at the moment, especially as it's fishing alright, and we'll see what happens then. Oh, that was a little bite wasn't it? That was exciting. The smallest of little bites. There was no doubt that that was a fish. And another one. God, you don't think there's a chance I'm actually going to catch something. How good would that be? Let's zoom you in on the old rod tips then. You see if you can see that. Better put my glasses on. Yeah, can you see that rod tip? You can. Let's see if we can get one of those little bites that I was just getting then. I guess that's just them having a little nip at the tails. But, uh, Pretty obviously I've got the size 4 chinus on, so that's small enough for the bream. I keep saying this, you'd think if something had had a taste and it liked it. Oh crap! Oh no! That was a bloody seagull that just flew into the line. Yeah, that was a bit scary. It destabilised the tripod a bit. No, that was three bites then. <laughs> or should I say, an airstrike and two bites. So the weed hasn't been too bad at all, so I'm going to put out the second one. And this one is a pretty pedal with squid and lug wrap. There's two more anglers turned up. One up there, and one down there. Oh, 
Yeah, this will turn you around, but I don't think you'll see me. Salesy Bill. High tide is at 3.39 at 5.2 meters with a low at, point zero, at 0 0.8 meters at half nine tonight. So that's 20 to 4 and it is now 10 past 2. 10 past 2, 20 to 4, hour and a half of that. Something like that, is it? Fine, how are you? Well, I missed that. I was talking to somebody. Apparently, the squid bait has gone all funny. Then look, it's broken at the shock leader knot. Right at the knot. Come on, focus camera. We get in close and it might focus on it. No, it's not going to, is it? Anyway. this one out next. This one looks like it's got a load of weed on it as well. And that's the second one broken. Now that doesn't bode well. How come it was fishing all right and now it's suddenly gone bad? Two weights down, two weeks down. Now it's taking me over the groin again. Don't know if I'll be able to get this one back. Mike's come up with an idea. Cast out over the goy, so 
a path out towards the uh, yeah, whatever it's called, the end of the groin. And then it will take it that way. So we've got uh, about half an hour to high tide now. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah, that's three o'clock. And when we get slack water, I'll throw out another big bike, but not till then. I was just saying to Mike, you can't blame me for not trying. As it's uh, just about high tide, I've put a really big bait out on the six and bait. It's a squid. Squid and lug wrap. And on the outside, I've put a, a big ragworm, lightly wrapped on it. There's got to be something out there that wants it. Oh, I haven't checked the drag. That's me done. 